guys, it's Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. So today I am going to be starting something new on my channel dealing with eyeshadows. <laughs> so I think I'm going to call this eyeshadow roulette. Basically, I'm going to... I've listed in a spreadsheet all 141 pans of eyeshadow between all my eyeshadow palettes and all my singles that I own. I have 141 total pans of eyeshadow in my collection. I am going to use a random number generator, you know, you guys know how much I love random.org uh, when it comes to selecting makeup for different things, but I am going to randomly select five pans of eyeshadow from my collection to focus on for the next month. So I kind of got the inspiration for this from a Project Pan theme that's been going around called Pan Those Eyeshadows. The first person I saw do it was Too Much Tosh, um, but I, I believe it was started by Alexandra Shostin here on YouTube, and then um, several other people have followed. Um, I know Too Much Tosh does it, um, Rebecca Morgan, those are the ones I can think of that I've seen um, do that type of a project pan. So the way that they do it is I think they select either four or five eyeshadows from their collection, and then they focus on those and try to hit pan on them over the course of the month, and then as soon as they hit pan on something, they roll a new one in, in the next update. I've mentioned before, I'm not big on panning eyeshadows. Now, I wouldn't mind starting to see some more pan within my eyeshadow collection, but the thing that really drew me to this style of like a roulette type thing was it kind of forces you to put together, you know, different colors across different palettes in your collection and create looks with them and kind of use that as a color palette. I feel like I've been getting a little bit in a rut with eyeshadows lately and I'm also trying to learn more about color theory lately. I saw I watched uh, Samantha Ravindahl's video all about color theory with makeup and I'm wanting to really try to incorporate that more into my techniques that I use when it comes to, especially for eyeshadow. So I feel like this will be a really fun way to get creative with my eyeshadows. Um, really have fun with my eyeshadows again and put together colors that I might have never thought to put together because they're in different palettes. So I'm really excited to see how this all goes. So I'm thinking I am just going to do updates on this every month and kind of show you how I've used the colors throughout the month. If I do end up hitting pan on any of the shades just as a result of using them a lot throughout the month, that's great, but it's not going to be my goal. I think I'm going to change up the five eyeshadows every month whether I hit pan on them or not, because I'm, I just, I don't really enjoy panning eyeshadows. This is more for me to just kind of delve into my eyeshadow collection and really get a lot of use out of some of the shades and pair things together and get creative. That's kind of what my goal for this is. So I have my whole list of eyeshadows, numbers 1 through 141. This includes all of my singles from ColourPop, from Makeup Geek, my individually packaged singles, and then all of my palettes, every pan of eyeshadow that I own. I should also say that I'm not including um, liquid eyeshadows in this. I just didn't really feel like it, to be honest. <laughs> I think I'd rather just focus on my <clears throat> on my solid eyeshadows. <laughs> solid. That's a weird way to refer to an eyeshadow. So I'm entering 1 through 141, and let's see which number comes out first. And like I said, I'm going to select 5. So the first number I got is 15. That is from my Modern Renaissance palette, and it's the shade Golden Ochre. So that is that shade right there. So that's a really good matte, kind of light beige transition color. All right, so we've got a nice neutral color to kind of ground this in case we end up with a bunch of crazy colors <laughs> after that. So let's do this again. Let's generate another number. So I got 39, which is the shade Sultry from my Soft Glam palette. That shade right there. Very, very glittery burgundy shade. That's actually a shade that I haven't used a whole lot, but I do really like that shade. So that'll be fun. So far we've got two pretty neutral colors. Why did I swatch them like that? Um, I'll show close-ups, don't worry. Okay, next we have number 122, which is the shade Glass Bowl from ColourPop. So that is one of my favorite ColourPop shades. One of the most popular shades from ColourPop. It's a duochrome, bluish, greenish, purplish, pinkish. It's, it's got all kinds of colors in there. Kind of like a blue bronze duochrome. 
I love that shade. And I forgot to say, you know, I, I'm not necessarily going to force myself to use all of these colors together every time I create a look. Some days I'm sure I'll only use like one or two of them, um, but it is kind of like a color palette that I'm going to be working off of throughout the month, so I think it'll be really interesting. Okay, so we've got two more. The next one is the number 110. Alright, so this is from the brand CoverGirl <laughs> from their True Naked Roses palette. And it is, I just called these shades 1 through 8 because these don't have names. And it's shade number 8. So it's not a shade that I'm super fond of. The last shade right there, and it's kind of like a deep uh, shimmery eggplant purple. The reason it's not my favorite shade is just because it um, has a very blackish base. And so it doesn't really go on the eyes looking purple. Um, but it can work nicely as just like an outer outer corner kind of deepener color or as a liner kind of like a deep plum but it really it's one of my least favorite types of shadows because it's it just the base of it is black and it really once it's on the eyes it doesn't look like the color that it looks like in the pan but the point is just to you know make all these shadows work and get use out of them last shade is going to be number 10 okay so that is <laughs> I love how these are all, like, none of these are from the same palette, so I'm going to be just reaching into so many palettes this next month. It's the shade Funny from The Balm. So this is from The Balm Nude Dude palette, and it is that shimmery brownish color right there. So all the shades that we ended up picking for this round are very neutral. Those are all of the shades. We have Golden Ochre from Modern Renaissance, Sultry from the Soft Glam palette, Glass Bowl from ColourPop, um, the, that deep shade from the CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette, and then the shade Funny from the Balm Nude Dude palette. So it's a pretty basic color palette for this month, but I think with this Glass Bowl shade from ColourPop, since that is a very duochrome type kind of transformer shade almost, I think it'll be interesting to pair that with some of these other colors. And of course I'll also be using palettes from the rest of my collection as well. Um, I'm not just restricting myself to these shadows on their own. If I do end up hitting pan on any of these, that'll be like brownie points for me. Um, but that's not really the ultimate goal. Although I kind of would like to start seeing some pan on more of my eyeshadows, like I said. So um, maybe with like the low key goal of hitting pan, but if I don't, it's like no big deal. Especially because some of these, I mean, they're such deep shades or I haven't gotten a ton of use out of them. So it's kind of unrealistic to expect myself to hit pan within a month on a shadow where there's like barely even a dip right now, you know what I mean? So I'm really excited for this little challenge. It's kind of similar to my four weeks for lipsticks, except that it's with eyeshadows. And with eyeshadows, typically I wear more than one eyeshadow at a time. We've got four different palettes represented here and then one of my ColourPop singles. So it's just like a bunch of colors together that I've never paired together before, pretty sure. So um, really interesting. I am excited <laughs> to say the least. So. Definitely look forward to seeing these shadows on my eyes throughout the next month. I'll definitely take some pictures of looks that I've done throughout the month incorporating these. So in my next video like this, you'll see kind of how I use these shadows and then we'll pick shades for the next month. So today's March 20th. I think this is going up on March 21st. So I'll probably keep doing these right around the 20th of the month. But yeah, I'm really excited for this little challenge. I think it'll be... It'll be a fun way to kind of get creative with eyeshadows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want to stay tuned for future updates, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.